Hello friends, welcome back to another video. We'll hear Orlando based flight attendant and hope you're doing wonderful. It is currently 528 in the morning. I have to be out in the next two minutes. We are starting a two day trip. We are going from Orlando to Cleveland and then we have one hour of ground time and we will be flying from Cleveland to San Juan and we'll have a short overnight in San Juan. Let me gather my food, my belongings, head out the door and let's get this two day trip started. Welcome to my second home at work, San Juan. This flight felt forever. It was almost a four hour flight. And even though we're on the NEO, uh, 321 NEO, which technically we can get here in less time, for some reason it was still close to four hours. On my previous vlog, I was questioning if I should drop this trip or not, and I didn't. And the minute I got on board, I was like, I should have but you know what I pushed through and I knew that I only had to work those two flights and I was gonna get here and then tomorrow I only have one flight in the morning so our layover here is actually very short we barely have 12 hours my entire crew is going out for dinner but I have food I don't want to spend money and two I don't really feel like getting out there it's now 4 p.m. and I have to be up at 4 a.m. so I have exactly 12 hours before I need to be up to start getting ready to work again and last night I didn't sleep well so for that reason I'm just gonna stay here we're gonna talk about my May schedule over the past couple of months there's been conversations about us becoming a charter line and when I saw my May schedule I was like are you serious? We'll talk in details when I share that with you, but right now I'm gonna get settled, put all my stuff away, and probably plug in my hot logic. There isn't a microwave in this room. I don't know that I wanna go for, for a microwave hunt right now. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not I'm not in the mood, but I, I just have to be honest. I can't stand here and be like, yes, I'm so excited to be here. I'm dying to get into bed <laughs> and just go home tomorrow. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do that. This is everything that I packed for this trip. Two of these trail mix that I didn't really get to eat. I have two bananas and I gave one to a coworker and then I ate another one. I have ground chicken with broccoli and cilantro lime rice. Mozzarella filled gnocchi with marinara sauce and chicken. I was supposed to eat one of these for breakfast this morning and I forgot. Oh, I also packed protein chips. So when I got to Cleveland, there was a Jamba Juice and I got an acai bowl. So that's why I still have the food that I brought this morning. So I spent $7 on that. I have two of the sparkling water. I guess I'm gonna have to take one of these back home because there's no way I'm gonna eat these two. And I get back to Orlando around I want to say like 10 a.m. So this is pretty much I know it's a little messy I didn't really need this much food, but I have it. What's going on guys? I am still here in my room I don't think I'm going anywhere. My food is almost ready So I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to talk about my May schedule I would like to reference some videos that I posted a couple months ago when I was actually talking about my airline becoming a turn airline This is public information that you can find pretty much anywhere <laughs> Some of the information that I share is that we had seen an increase on our bidding packets for turns But tell me how I saw a lot of 40 trips for the month of May and Look what I got I have one, two, three, four four-day trips and only three turns awarded. I am pretty much in San Juan all month next month and I only have two Cleveland overnights. One of them is close to 20 hours, which I am excited for. I don't know that these trips will be here for the month of June. I am grateful that I got these trips. I have 102 hours and a total of 340 hours of per diem. And this is one of the things that I was talking about, 340 hours of per diem versus getting maybe 100 hours of tax per diem with do interns makes a big difference. My entire schedule next month, besides you know Philly, Cleveland, and Harford Bradley, and Charleston, and LaGuardia, is just really coming to San Juan, or Aguadilla, or Ponce. I do prefer to come here to Puerto Rico instead, because lately I found myself doing more things. I think it was last week I had a four day trip here and I did not vlog that trip, but I had 
such a wonderful time. Like I went to Old San Juan, I was riding scooters, I went kayaking, and it gave me like a new perspective of things that I can do here. And some of the other places that I go to, there isn't really much to do around. This is the first time that I get 440 trips awarded since I started here. I was primarily getting like fake three day trips or like low hour two day trips, like the one I'm currently on. I'm very happy with my schedule next month. I got the days off that I wanted. I also got a few extra days after my vacation. I'm done with this trip tomorrow and then I have two turns and then I have another two day trips. So definitely got a few more days of flying, but I am ready to just go on vacation. We'll see where we end up. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel and turn those notifications on so that you guys can see the adventure. I think I'm going to eat now and I'll probably see you before I go to bed. My room is a bit messy and the craziest part is that I just got here two hours ago and after I'm done eating, I kind of have to like pack everything again, shower and then go to bed because I have to be up at least at 3.45 in the morning tomorrow. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. The way happy hour is happening in front of my room right now, but I'm here slam clicking. There it is, free happy hour happening right now, and I'm here in my room. A couple hours later, I've actually been in bed for a little bit, but it is time to really just go to sleep. It is close to 8.20 p.m., and I have to be up at 4. I might have said this already. I'm glad I stayed here, even though I wish I could take you guys somewhere, but I, I don't know. This week has been tough. Good morning and welcome to the next day. I'm getting ready to head over to the airport and work the one flight back to Orlando and we're done. It is currently 4.48 in the morning. My van is at 5.14 and our report time is at 5.35. We're literally like four minutes away from the airport. So it's gonna take us really nothing to get there and go through security. I passed out last night. I think I fell asleep around 8.45 ish or nine and I randomly woke up at like 3.30 like what's going on? My alarms hadn't even go off or anything when I woke up so that's how you know it was a good night's sleep though. When you wake up like all scared because you missed your alarm, that's when you know it was good. But I'm gonna go and eat some yogurt now and coffee and then I'm gonna make my way downstairs so that I can meet with my crew. Spring break travel is slowly calming down which I am so happy for. Let's see how today goes. We should be in Orlando around 9.45 in the morning. So an early one today and then that's it. We're done and I have the rest of the day off. I do have a Philly turn tomorrow and the reserve grid is green. So I have until noon if I want to drop this turn. And I don't know, I woke up today feeling a little bit under the weather. Not a bad turn, it's good credit, and I have a good crew. Hopefully I feel better later, and I can forget the idea of dropping the turn, because I could really use the hours, given the fact that last month I didn't really work <laughs> that much. But we'll see, I'll keep you guys posted on what I decide. Let's have some yogurt and coffee and head over to the airport. I just realized I didn't show you the room yesterday, but there isn't really much over here, just the two beds, this empty space on this side, and then this desk and chair. Look at these curtains. <laughs> we got some, some cool paintings. And this one, I think it's actually featured in the Art Museum of Puerto Rico, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I can grab it from here. Here's where I put my luggage. We actually had a fridge here. No microwave, but a good thing I had my hot logic. There's a closet, and then the bathroom, and that's pretty much it. couple hours later, I actually got back this morning from San Juan. I worked the one flight from San Juan to Orlando. We had 174 passengers and our flight time was two hours and 46 minutes, which I feel like it's kind of a long flight for San Juan. I've definitely done that flight in like 2.20, 2.25, and you really feel the difference. Overall, it was a good day. When I got here, I was like, maybe I should just nap for a little bit. I don't know if you guys remember, but I was feeling a bit under the weather. I think I was just feeling tired. I still made the decision to drop my Philadelphia turn, so tomorrow I do not have to go to work. I go back to work Saturday, 
And then I have a two day trip starting Sunday and that would be the end of the work month for me. Then I go on my vacation. I am currently making some lunch and wait a couple hours, edit some videos, hit the gym. I might meet up with a friend later, but if it doesn't happen, I won't be mad because I got stuff to do here at home anyways. I do have to pick up Osvaldo later tonight. He's currently on a work trip. And then that's it. I really don't have anything else to do. I hope that you guys enjoy coming on this short two day trip with me. I am so excited for my schedule next month. We're gonna have so much fun on these nine San Juan layovers and I am looking forward to it. I know a lot of you guys may think like, oh, you're going to the same destination. We're really, this happens everywhere. How many flight tents out there always go to the same international or domestic destination? I always say it's what we make out of it because you can go to the same destination and just have the best time of your life. That being said, I think I'm going to let you guys go now. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I am going to see you next time for another video. Take care.